morning guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Imagine Acre Wood. Um, as you can see, we got more snow last night. Um, they're projecting through, uh, well, through this entire storm, I guess, um, cycle here that we've got rolling through, um, maybe up to, from where we're at, one to two feet. Um, they're saying seven inches in the valley. We'll see. So, um, but as you guys can see here, I finally got uh, Droopy and Miss K separated, and then all of the girls separated. Um, I'm, I've almost 100% confirmed that Miss K is the one doing the, uh, the nonsense around here. Um, and so um, I'm keeping Droopy with her right now, but I'm pretty sure soon I'm going to let Droopy loose back in with the rest of the herd and see how he does again and just keep Miss K isolated. Um, Miss K will probably be a one or twice time breeder if it is her. Um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll breed her once or twice um, and then she'll, she'll go into the freezer. Um, but, uh, cause I can't have a, a, an aggressive bull with the herd, or, sorry, an aggressive cow with the herd. So, um, but, uh, as you can see here, um, we've got them two isolated. Okay. Hiding in the in the coop, they don't want to come out today. Huh, chickens, you don't want to come out today in the snow. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You don't want to come out today in the snow, chickens. I don't blame you. What, Trixie? Are you trying to get fed, huh? Hi, Mary. Um, next spring, we're planning on pulling babies, uh, bottle babies, and so when we pull, pull bottle calves next year, um, we're going to have, our facilities are going to be a lot more, um, I guess, tested. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to put in some, uh, in the spring, we're, we, we do plan to, to basically refine this whole area a little bit more for bottle babies, and that was always the plan, so um, when we start pulling bottle babies, I don't know that I'm going to have... Uh, time or resources to deal with a problem cow that can't be with the 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 large herd that we're going to keep so well, other than that everybody seems to be doing well um everyone's fat everyone's eating well so um i think if we if we can stop the aggression here and uh, maybe we've done that then uh then i think we'll be all right here through winter and we won't have any more losses which would be good but we're gonna go on a walk first and then we'll feed them. Ready, Lit? Let's go. As you guys can see, I've got my, my yak tracks on. Um, they're basically studded at the bottom so those really help if it's icy underneath right now we've got enough snow that that uh you just kind of compact the snow and traction is not an issue but i know we have some sections of road that are icy and so me and Leia we're going out on a walk here to check um and see the road conditions because i do need to go into town today we're gonna have to plow and then i'm gonna have to head into town for a little bit so we'll see goes lay it down the road down there come on that come on girl this way fresh snow 
go see if we see any rabbit tracks, girl. This is a good time, too, guys, to check for rabbit tracks. Um, Loves our morning walks. She's nuts. All right, come on, Leah. Let's go. Come on, this way. Woo! <laughs> what are you doing, girl? Huh? Woo! Yak track saved me there. I much prefer this guys over that rain we've been having that's been washing everything away. I really hope this sticks finally so our road conditions can be better. It's been just really icy guys. Everything's been where we at we're at when when it melts we get a lot of melt runoff that just comes down um, a section of the road here and it freezes like an ice sheet. So we would definitely want that snowpack on top. You can see here we've got water still running down. Leia was just in it there. Well, guys, I was just down here assessing the road before I uh, come out to plow it. Um, I think it's a smart idea, but maybe not. I don't know. But anyways, you guys can see we had another tree come down here. Uh, another one of these cottonwoods come down across the roadway. So we've got two here now, guys. Um, luckily, my neighbors don't drive this until spring. Um, but we're going to have to get rid of these two down timbers here um, first thing in the spring when it starts to thaw. I might come out here when I have extra time and get rid of them in the next couple of days just so they don't become a nuisance. Um, yeah, part of living off grid, guys. As you can see, right across the access road. So we got to take care of that ourselves, guys. No one comes out here to do it for us. So um, I'll be taking care of that here in the next, uh, probably take care of it in the next day or two. So. Um, maybe look for that on the next video. Who knows? We'll see. Anyways, let's get let's get the road plowed, guys. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, when we plow this we go down one way with the blade flipped one way And we go down the other way with the other blade what I'm trying to do currently is um, Because we have some ruts because of the washout that we've had I'm trying to fill in those ruts So what we're basically doing is taking out our high center and filling it into those ruts And we're gonna let it sit and hopefully freeze overnight um, then what we'll do is we'll drive over it tomorrow again, compact it, and keep clearing out the high centers until those ruts are really hopefully filled in with this good snowstorm. Um, and then from there we can start moving it out. So um, we're going to flip the blade around and then we're going to go over and plow the other side. We've done one direction, we're going to do the other now. 
and I do apologize. It'd be nicer if I had a second camera so I could B-roll you. But with one, I'm having to swap back and forth. I have to hop off the tractor, place the camera. You guys know how it is. So um, anyways, I'll do the best I can with showing you what we're doing. Um, but I have to kind of explain it a little bit as well. So a uh, little bit of show, mostly tell. So. That's ideally what you want is a sheet of snow that continues to pack over time um, and then you get an even thaw in the spring or sometimes you'll get ruts in the spring but you don't usually have that until the spring out here. This year, all winter. So. So you guys can see here, it's done a pretty good job guys. Um, it's probably hard to see, the camera doesn't pick up whites too well but um, you can see we've got this section cleared. Now we just got to keep the sidewalls from coming in on us, but um, that's just a process that we're going to do. So what I'm kind of trying to do is because, again, we've had the ruts wash away, is I'm taking off the high center and dropping it down in the ruts and then just kind of driving over it and compacting it with the tractor. Um, it's doing a really good job, guys. You guys can see here. So, um, yeah, keep doing the best we can with it, guys. And, with uh, the hand that we're dealt and and uh, that's all we can do so